Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Bandai Tamashii Nation's SH Figure Arts Akuma. And here's Akuma out of the packaging, and I really like this figure. Um, I think the head the head sculpt came out really cool. Um, the hair is really sharp and looks accurate to the video game. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy with this figure. Um, so there he is out of packaging. He also came with uh, two little backdrops. You can see here, so this one's just kind of like demons or people with fire, grass in the background. Then over here you got a little temple. It's pretty cool. I probably won't be using these, I'll probably just stick them back in the box. So that's really cool, then next he came with a stand for the fireball. I haven't opened it yet, but we'll take a look at that later. Then he came with this fireball, which is really cool. I really liked uh, the way this looked out of packaging. I uh, had to take a minute to look at it. It has like a whirlwind effect on the inside, it's pink, and purple, clear, it's really cool. I like this effect a lot. So of course he came with his basic face, and then he came with two closed fists, and that's really cool. Um, I like the fact that SHF we get alternate, uh, alternate hands and alternate faces. So over here we have his angry face, you know, like he's throwing his fireball or punching the shit out of Ryu or something. <laughs> so I really like the face. I like the fact that you know the hair is attached like that, and you can see where you know you take it off and put the other one. This one's more of a calm face, but he's looking to the right or the left, you know, like he's looking over his shoulder or something. I do like this face. Um, I imagine it's for when, like, you do the behind pose, you know, his super. Uh, next, oh, I forgot to put it on there, the beads. The, uh, the beads come off when you take the head off, so it's easy to remove and put back on. Go ahead and stick that back on there. All right, there you go. Now he looks a lot better. <laughs> something was bothering me with the way he looked, so... He was missing the beads, and those beads look really cool. Um, so his accessory hands, he comes with uh, two pairs of these hands, where he has his two fingers up. I really like this hand, the pinky is articulated really well, and that's pretty cool. Or posed really well, it's not articulated. Uh, and I like the fact that they come with a rope around the hands like that, so that's really cool. And then we also have the open palm, you know, the grabby hands. Alright, so I, I, I really like this figure. Um, I remember when uh, me and my cousin first found Akuma, I think it was Street Fighter 2, and we had rented it from Blockbuster, and I remember we were picking the random characters, and then Akuma popped up, and we both like flipped out, like, who is this? He's so freaking cool! And, you know, like the evil version of Ryu and Ken. We were so excited about seeing this figure, or the, the character. But I'm so excited to have the figure now, so let's go ahead and take a look at the figure's articulation. Um, so his head can look left and right a really good amount. He can look up about that much, which kind of sucks. He can look down a really good amount, but not up. And that kind of blows. Uh, we can 360 the arms. We have the double jointed elbow. That's really cool. And then the hands are on a ball peg, so you can do whatever you want with that. He does have a torso, uh, torso crunch, but you can't move it that well because of the costume. But he does have the swivel right there, so really good uh, movement there. He has a small butterfly joint, or I just think it's the pegs that allow you to move it a little more. That's really cool. I really like this belt. It looks really cool. This is a one piece right here that if you take off the chest, this part will come off. Uh, he can kick out really, really good. You know, as a Street Fighter character should be able to kick really high. 
that's a really good kick. Damn. And double jointed knees. Or I don't really think that's a double jointed, but you know, it has really good uh, movement. Then the ankle, really good and pivot and everything like that. So articulation is great on this. It's a, it's a Bandai figure. It's gonna be awesome. Um, I really like the deco. It's really simple. It's blue. It's accurate to the video game. The hair came out great. Um, there's not really a whole lot to talk about. His sandals. His sandals look pretty simple. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and do a little size comparison. And here's Ryu next to Akuma, and I really didn't think there'd be that much of a size comparison, but Akuma is buff as shit. I mean, he looks like he's gonna knock Ryu right out. Um, now, Ryu is my favorite um, SH Figure Arts figure that I have in my collection. Um, I used to have all the Dragon Ball Z figures, but I kind of sold them off and traded so I could get other stuff. But I am really happy with these figures. They look really good next to each other. They're very in scale with each other. Uh, Akuma's, you know, about a half foot taller than him. He's fucking way buffer. And that looks really good in my opinion. Let's go ahead and do another size comparison. And for some Marvel vs. Capcom action, here he is next to the Marvel Legend Juggernaut Wave Wolverine. Uh, they look pretty good next to each other. Wolverine should be shorter than him, but... Uh, that looks pretty good. I'm happy with the way they look next to each other. Now that's better. These two look pretty good next to each other. Um, that is the Rebel Tech Yamaguchi Wolverine. Um, I had to mess up my pose to freaking get him to look vanilla. To put him in that vanilla pose. So These two look great next to each other. Wolverine is usually hunched down and stuff as he's a smaller person. Uh, Akuma and this Wolverine look great next to each other, in my opinion. What do you guys think? Alright guys, that's going to be it for my review of the SH Figure Arts Akuma. I uh, hope you liked my review. It's It was a real quick one. There's not a whole lot going on with these figures. As awesome as they look, they're very simple and that's one of the biggest attractions I have to the Street Fighter line. So, without a doubt, it's an awesome figure. Alright, so I'll catch you guys later. Please leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And peace.